with you, Ben and Holly. Yes, we love coming to your house. It's my birthday soon and you can come to my party. That sounds brilliant. You could have a fairy party. Or an elf party. Yes, an elf and fairy party. And all my friends can come dressed up. I could do some party magic. Ooh, yes, please. Lucy, lunchtime. Better hide. Dad can be a bit funny about you two. Mum, Dad, I've decided to have an elf and fairy party for my birthday. That's nice, Lucy. And I've invited Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Now, Lucy, we've been through this. Elves and fairies aren't really real. Hello, Lucy's dad. <laughs> Hello there. We are real. Uh, but, but we can't have real elves and fairies at Lucy's birthday party. Why not, Dad? There'll be lots of other children, and they're not used to seeing real elves and fairies. We understand. Yes. See you later, Lucy. Bye. Bye. Holly was going to do some magic at my party. Well, I can do some magic tricks. Watch. Here's a coin. Now it's gone. Oh, what's this behind your ear? Oh, will you do a magic show at my party? Of course I will. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great! I've always wanted to go to a big kid's party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. <laughs> That's the thing. Real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh! oh. Oh, Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great! Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray. Thanks, Thanks, Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic. And play party. Games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So, you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello! My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa! Quick, grab him! Ooh! <laughs> 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 Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh! There's the birthday cake. <laughs> Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 I yeah, wish yeah, we yeah. could dance with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, we yeah, promise yeah, to yeah, keep yeah, out of sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. They're going to see him. Musical statues. When the music yeah, stops, yeah, everyone yeah, freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. Look. Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. 
What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mum. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Hooray! Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic, just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practising. And now I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto. <laughs> it's Flopsy, my pet rabbit. <laughs> Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, yes do, do it, it again. again. Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No, Strawberry. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, another rabbit. Ooh. Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity. And another rabbit. And um, another, and another, and another. Tweety birds, and another. tweety birds. Oh, my birds, where did they come from? Out of your hat. Stop it, Strawberry. But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly. Ah, jelly! It's a jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood. <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Jelly party flood. food. We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh. I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh no, the birthday cake. <laughs> there he is. Naughty Gaston, come here. <laughs> He's stuck in the icing. Don't worry, Gaston, we'll rescue you. Oh, no. I'm stuck! Ah, I'm stuck as well. I'm stuck too! <gasps> Time for the cake! Keep still! Pretend to be toys! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy! Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Ah! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your... your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> <laughs> 
lovely, having a picnic in the Little Kingdom. What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea, and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> Help! Oh, was that a talking animal? Help! Help! Rex, come back! <laughs> Rex, no! Naughty dog! <laughs> hello, Lucy. Oh, hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> Here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! I'm tiny! <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex little too? <laughs> <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh! Can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes. Look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 
elves. True, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Hmm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know. You could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow. Could I? Of course. There's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> mm. Talking rabbits? Elves? Fairies? Shrunken daughter? Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrunk. Her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, all right, then. <coughs> as long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! <coughs> This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> Midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight, or it's not a real midnight feast. Dum dee dum dee 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 doo dee dee dee. Oh my goodness, Rex! What are you doing here? It's morning. You could grow big again any second. Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Ow, you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up! Holly, where's Lucy? Shh! She's still asleep! What? Well, wake her up! And get her out of the castle! Quickly! Before she gets big! Oh, yeah! Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever, wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at all the lovely tulips. Yay! 
Yes, Holly. It's the first day of spring. Wow, there's a flower right outside our window. All the daffodils have come up. I love springtime. Ben, Ben, are you coming out to play? I'll be right down. Have you seen all the flowers? Yes, and oh, those leaves are moving. There's something in there. It's coming out. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr. Hedgehog. Ah, oh, a hedgehog. <laughs> He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes, some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Eh? What do you mean? Uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow. Eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter. Shh. Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> there's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. This looks like a nice, comfy house. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you can't live here. I like a man who speaks his mind. We'll have some good chats while I'm living here. Mr Gnome, we'd really love to have you stay, but the front door is too small for you. Well, if you really want me to stay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Nearly there. Just my bottom to go. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything. What's for dessert? Save your food. Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnomes said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages and eggs and bacon. Is that? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. 
You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. Hmm. I can smell breakfast from here. Hello. Quick, Your Majesty. Tell your gnome that there's a breakfast tree on Big Hill. Ooh! They say that breakfast don't grow on trees, but my, my! A tree with eggs, bacon, sausages and toast. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look, they're about to meet and run a hundred miles from each other. Uh, a gnome! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Go on, then. What are you doing here? I like breakfast. Would you like to know why? No. I'll take that as a yes. It's because I like fried eggs and sausages and bacon and pancakes and... <coughs> You've eaten it all! Well, if you didn't talk so much, you could do some eating. Right! I'm going a hundred miles away from you. I'm going a thousand miles away from you. It worked. They've both left the little kingdom. What a brilliant plan. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me... We thought you'd, uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes. Well, I I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh... That's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid we'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well, goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> the new 
one. <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. OK, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? Abracadabra! Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. <laughs> Whoops. It sounds like your wand's got a cold. <laughs> Oh, no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. <coughs> Poor Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh. What'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <coughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh. Well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Fleur. Is that a new wand? Yes. It's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, 
Let's play a game. Yes. What shall we play? Let's play princesses, knights and naughty witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow. Real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha! This tower! Whoa! <laughs> wow! How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Elves are good at climbing up hair, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Here I am. I've come to rescue you. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. <laughs> Fleur, lunchtime! Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye! OK, bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry, I've got my Wise One 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. <coughs> oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <coughs> Dee -dee -da -dum. Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with one day? The Wise One 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old ones never talked. It just... <laughs> oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. <laughs> Wandy! Tower. Yes, indeed. You. I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. <laughs> I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston. Fetch the stick. You're my best friend. I love you. Gaston loves fetching sticks. <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend.
I knew this shortcut through the meadow wasn't a good idea. You'll be late for school, Lucy. Hehe, <laughs> but I love going this way. We might meet my little elf and fairy friends again. Lucy, the other day when we thought we saw elves and fairies, it was a very hot day, and I'm afraid we let our imaginations run away with us. There really aren't any such things as fairies and elves. Good morning, Lucy's dad. Ah, uh, good morning, little elf. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. Come on, Lucy. You'll be late for school. Uh, bye, little people. I'm going to school. It's nature day. Can we come? It'd be a brilliant adventure. Yes. No, no. I forbid it. Remember, we mustn't be seen by big people. But I've seen you, and so has my dad. But you're nice. It's just other big people we can't trust. Oh, don't worry. I'll go with them and we'll keep well hidden. Hooray! OK, but if you do get seen, pretend to be a toy. Like this. I'm a toy. Yes, yes, whatever. Come on, Lucy. Say goodbye to your, um, little friends. Yes, Daddy! Quick, into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad! <laughs> this is my school. Wow! So many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus. Auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness! I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. <laughs> oh no! Gaston smelt the bananas! He likes bananas! Gaston, here boy! Stop! Come back! Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or well, you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no, ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No, no toys in class. That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson, all right? Yes, Miss Cookie. But, Miss Cookie, it was a real fairy. Thank you, Katie. Let's carry on, shall we? Ooh, what's this? She's got Nanny's wand. <laughs> it's sparkly. <laughs> that girl doesn't know she's doing magic. Miss Cookie, there's a frog on my desk. Oh, what? Oh, where did he spring from? Well, well, can anyone tell me what kind of animal a frog is? Wow. <laughs> It's a kitten. It's not a kitten. Oh, my goodness. It is a kitten. We have to stop her. I'll do a spell to lift the wand out of her hand. Uh, zooby zooby there, float in the air. Oh, dear. I didn't mean to lift her as well. Miss Cookie, Katie's out of her seat. Sit down, please, Katie. <laughs> Good. She's dropped the wand. I'll go and get it. Wait for me. Miss Cookie, there's an elf and a fairy walking across my desk. 
Quick, pretend to be toys. What a pretty fairy doll and a handsome elf. Are they yours as well, Lucy? Yes, Miss Cookie. I think I'll put these toys in the drawer as well. What are you two doing here? We tried to get your wand, but a boy saw us. Did you pretend to be toys? Yes, yes Nanny. Nanny. Good. Well, I think we've been very clever so far. No one knows we're not toys. But we're shut in the teacher's drawer. And we haven't got our wands. Yes. I think we'll have to call for a little help. Elf Rescue! Hello? Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf Helicopter is go! I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother! Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh, Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, oh Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky. But, oh, no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Oh, uh, guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf! Oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. No, I promise I won't tell anyone, any of my friends, that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you so much. Bye. Can I have my ladybird back? Your ladybird? OK. <coughs> By the way, he's a boy and he loves spaghetti bolognese. Don't you, Gaston? <coughs> Bye. Now I've seen everything. Cheerio! Hi, Lucy. Good day. <laughs> Great. So what did you do at school today? Uh, well... Bye, Lucy. Can we have our wands back? Of course. See you again soon. Cheerio, Lucy's dad. Uh, cheerio. You'll never in a million years guess what I saw today. An elf in a helicopter. Don't tell me. You've seen them too. Um, yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves, eh? Good idea. I think we got away with that. Only a couple of people saw us. Lucy. And her dad. And all her friends. And her teacher, thanks to the wise old elf. Yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves. Mm, yes. What's it worth? Food 
delivery. Oh, hello, Mr. Elf. Lovely day. It certainly is. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Come up. Mr. Elf is kind delivering our food. Yes. Where would we be without elves? No idea, Your Majesty. Cheerio, Mr. Elf. Um, uh... Is there something else? No. Well, yes. I was just wondering if you could pay us today. Pay you? Yes. You haven't paid us any money for ages. Oh, right. How much do we owe you? Um, 492 gold coins. Gosh, that's a lot. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just get some money, won't we, Nanny? Money doesn't grow on trees, Holly. No? No. It grows in the magic money chest. Oh, there's only one coin in it. One coin is all we need. I throw it into the magic money chest. <laughs> it sounds like popcorn. Don't lift the lid up until it stops. Gold coins. Wow! Can I have a go? All right. I'll just empty the chest. Now, Ben, throw the coin in. But I haven't got a coin. You made them all disappear. Oh, without a coin, we can't make money. Um, I've got a button. Perhaps that will work. <laughs> it's doing its popcorn thing. Oh, it's full of buttons. Nanny, can you buy things with buttons? Mr. Elf, would it be OK to pay you in buttons? Uh, no. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr. Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye. Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So how do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Ah, wise old elf. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the Elf Job Centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Name? The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The King. Any skills? Being King. Mm. We don't have a king job right now. Um, we need a toy factory worker, or a farmer, or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right, then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. 
Hey, this is fun. Her to starboard. Which way is starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock. Abandon ship. Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. <laughs> what about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. <laughs> Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. All right. How are you getting on, Your Majesty? <laughs> Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The king has a right to start our harvest dance. Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. <gasps> Righto. What do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! Right. Well, that's as good a time as any to finish my day's work. How many gold coins have I earned? For being a sailor, you earned one gold coin. But for sinking the ship, we'll have to take it back. For working in the factory, you earned one gold coin. But for causing a duck flood, we'll have to take it back. And for working on the farm, you earned one gold coin. But for making the pumpkin explode, we'll have to take it back. But I need a gold coin. I suppose I'll just have to come back to work tomorrow. Ah! Take the gold coin and don't come back tomorrow. One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! Uh oh, maybe I am quite good at being king. I think it's the job you're second best at. Really? And what job am I best at? Being Daddy. <laughs> oh. 
Look what's come in the post. What a fancy envelope. It looks very posh. Let's see who it's from. Dear King and Queen Thistle, I have decided to come and visit your little kingdom today. I'll be arriving at dinner time. Yours sincerely, King Leopold. King Leopold? Yes. Never heard of him. He's heard of you, Daddy. Just think, a king. I'm a king. No, but a proper one. We must give him a royal welcome. He's a VIP. What's a VIP? A very important person. I'm a very important person. What is everyone getting so excited about? Have you heard the news? A king is coming to visit. It's written down in writing. Brilliant, isn't it? A real king. I'm a real king. It's so exciting that a very important person is coming. I want to tell everyone. I want to tell the marigolds. Hello. Hello. Queen Thistle here. Oh, my little sister. How are you? I'm fine. I just thought you'd like to know that we have King Leopold visiting today. Who's King Leopold? A very important person. A VIP? Oh, my goodness. A VIP? Our castle's bigger. Why can't the VIP come here? No, thank you. King Leopold wants to visit us. Oh. But maybe you could come and meet him too. Oh, yes, please. We're having a party in his honour tonight. We'll be there. Bye. Usually the marigolds laugh and laugh and laugh at us, but this time we'll be different. <laughs> We've got King Leopold coming to visit. We must start preparing. We'll have to make lots of lovely food. I'll start cooking straight away. We'll need a red carpet and the little children can wave flags to welcome King Leopold. And we'll have beautiful music. Now, children, everyone pick an instrument. Ben, you can play the spal throttle. OK. I've got the thump warbler. <coughs> and I've got the trimpy trumpy. <coughs> I think I'll have the fairy harp. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK. Here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah! Too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nelly Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. Better than the usual stodge you make me. That's because King Leopold is coming to dinner. <sighs> Have all the little children got their flags to wave? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do that for me? Because... I know, I know. I'm not King Leopold. And we need music. Where's the band? Here we are. We've been practising all afternoon. Oh, good. It's nearly time. Everybody into their seats. I can hear footsteps. Someone's coming. Hooray! 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 Here he comes. Let's start the music. Hello there. Ah! The nine! 
in all. Get out of the way. We're waiting for a very important person. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? King Leopold. That's me. <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual king? Oh, yes. Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. <laughs> Why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> <sighs> All that... Effort and King Leopold oh. turns out to be the gnome. Yes, it's an outrage. <laughs> oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. Especially after all our practice. Let's enjoy ourselves. We've got a party with music and lovely food. Yes, I suppose things haven't worked out too badly. King and Queen Marigold are here. Oh! oh, no more pies. What's this? It's spaghetti vongole. OK, I'll give it a go. What will the marigolds say when they see that? <laughs> They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and... Here we are, darling. Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that gnome king. Look, he doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. Me too. From now on, I'm going to wear a sack. Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. And no offence, but that fancy whiffy waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name! Wise old elf, do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr. Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. Oh, if I must, bump your booze and wiggle your wooers. Thank you very much. Oh, that was fun. I'm going to enjoy staying here. Oh, dear. We're stuck with him for weeks now. This Gnome King is incredible. If only King Leopold would come and stay with us at our castle. I don't see why not. Just mention pies and he's all yours. I say, old boy, would you like to stay with us for a few weeks? There will be pies. <laughs> oh, if there's pies involved, I'll stay with you forever. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy's playgroup. Bang! 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 Ah, Daisy! Poppy! Bang! Bang! Daisy! Poppy! Don't do that! Bang! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> what 
stops all the noise. Mummy, the twins are being naughty. Shouldn't they be at playgroup? There hasn't been any playgroup for weeks now. Really? Why not? The problem was all the toddlers were together in one place. Isn't that the idea of a playgroup? Well, yes, but just think. There was Raspberry. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> and Nettle. She has a stinging nettle in her hat. And Tarquin. Tarquin likes playgroup. <laughs> and Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> All together, they're quite a handful. What happened to their nice teacher, Mrs. Fotheringill? Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fotheringill. They made her disappear. Disappear? All they found was her shoes. Now, no one wants to be the teacher, and the nursery is closed. What a lot of fuss about nothing. I know. I'll be the playgroup teacher, and Nanny Plum can be my assistant. Huh? Um, I'd like to be, but I'm really very busy. I'll call my friend Mrs Elf, then. She can be my assistant. Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello? It's Queen Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. I wonder if you'd be interested in a new job. A job? Yes. You'd be working with me. That would be an honour, Queen Thistle. As assistant teacher at the playgroup. Hello? Hello? Oh, the phone must be broken. Still, she sounds very keen. I'll go round and fetch her. Are you sure you want to be the teacher, Mummy? The toddlers can be very naughty. No problem. I'll have Mrs Elf to help me. Hello? Is Mrs Elf there? Uh, sorry, but Mrs Elf had to go away suddenly. She is not here. Oh, hello, Mum. Oh, hello. I just got back. Perfect. Daisy and Poppy are so... So pleased you're going to help at playgroup. <laughs> well, as long as it's just Daisy and Poppy. Oh, no. It will be all their friends as well. Lovely. Oh, it's locked. What a shame. No playgroup. Don't worry, Mrs Elf. I have the key. Lovely. A quick tidy and we'll soon have it ship shape. Oh, look. Mrs Fotheringill's shoes. Where did she go? No one knows. She just... Disappeared. Come along. The toddlers will be here in a minute. We heard playgroups reopening. We didn't quite believe it, though. So what poor person is the new teacher? Ah, uh, me, actually. And I'm the assistant teacher. Tarquin's been really missing, playgroup. Tarquin like playgroup. So is Raspberry. <laughs> and Nettle. <laughs> Come in, children. Oh, she stung me. <laughs> Hello, I'm your new nursery teacher, and this is my assistant, Mrs... Oh. She's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs Elf. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere, but I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf. You're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Tarquin like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. 
Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy, did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. And it's nearly home time. How lovely and quiet. Why is it so different today? It's time to pick up the twins. Ah, the twins. That's why it's quiet. Right, Nanny, I'm on my way. Hello, have you come to pick up your toddlers? Yes! Oh, ah, where's the playgroup? It's, it's gone. gone! Wow! Last time the toddlers just made the teacher disappear. This time it's the whole school. Home time! Phew! Well done, Mrs Elf. That wasn't too bad. Apart from the Queen disappearing. Oh, yes, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, children. Don't run. Oh, my goodness! Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent us? Dinosaur, dinosaur! <laughs> oh, no! They've sent us back in time! To the land of the dinosaurs! How are we going to get home again? Let's not panic. There's an answer to everything. OK, we're stuck in the land of the dinosaurs. 65 million years in the past. So, what's the answer? I'm thinking. I have an idea. I might be able to magic the school back. It's worth a try. Abracadabra! The main thing is not to panic. Ah! The school's gone. Shall we start panicking now, Mum? Yes. It's the school. Hooray! Welcome back, everybody. Oh, there's no one here. Trapped in the land of the dinosaurs with no way back. Don't worry, there must be an answer. Think, Mrs Elf, think! What's that? Is it a dinosaur? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a cave woman! <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Wait a minute! It's Mrs Fotheringill! The lost teacher! I've been stuck here for ages! Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes, the Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyl things. <coughs> leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs Fotheringill? Do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. Mrs Fotheringill, why is it called Scary Mountain? Oh, I see. <coughs> Look, the Queen! Hello, everyone. Mummy, are you all right? Yes, but I'm trapped. It won't lift up its foot. I'll climb up and tickle the pterodactyl. Elves are good at tickling pterodactyls, and I'm an elf. Careful, Ben. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Hooray! Here's your wand, Mummy. Thank you, everyone. Now I think we all better get back home. Oh, hello! Hello, everyone. I was getting a tiny bit worried. I think it's all gone very well for the first day. And the good news is we've found Mrs Fotheringill. Hello! Welcome back, Mrs Fotheringill. I expect you'd like a little rest. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. You'll need to get your strength back before you start teaching the playgroup again. Oh. Mrs Fotheringill! <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's playgroup outing. Uh, Mrs Fotheringill, are you sure it's a good idea taking the toddlers on an outing? They can be quite a handful. 
<laughs> the little darlings do have high spirits, but this time I'm not going to let them get the better of me. That's their spirit, Mrs. Fotheringale. She's doomed. Let's check all the toddlers are here. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> uh, Daisy and Poppy have promised to be as good as gold today. Not that that means very much. I'm sure if Daisy and Poppy say they will be good, they will be. Good as gold! <laughs> nettle Elf? Ouch! She stung Mrs. Fotheringill with her nettle. Raspberry Fairy? <laughs> My little sister. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> And last but not least, Tarquin. <laughs> Tarquin like Father Gill. Tarquin is a monster. Remember last time when the toddlers made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear? Yes. All they found was her shoes. <laughs> now, for today's outing, we're going on a trip to the museum. The big museum? But that's full of big people. Yes, but the museum has so many many interesting things for the toddlers to look at. Are you going to take away their wands, Mrs. Fotheringill? No, Holly. If you trust a child, they will repay your trust. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a catastrophe. What's a catastrophe, Daddy? What this is going to be. Oh, look! Here comes the magic bus. All aboard! Come on, everyone. Hold tight, go up. Next up, the big museum. Now, as you know, there will be big people at the museum. And we don't want to be seen by big people, do we? No! So what should you do if a big person sees you? Turn them into a frog. No, no, no. If a big person sees you, just pretend to be a toy, like this. I'm a toy. I'm a toy. Last stop, big museum. Everybody off. Oh. Keep together. In we go. Wow, these stairs are big. Well, this museum is built for big people. Follow me, everyone, and try not to be seen. Ah! Whoa! Look, Mum, a tiny little person. I'm a toy! I'm a toy! It's a toy. Some poor child must have lost it. Just put it over there so they can find it again. OK, Mum. Phew! That was close. Yes, Ben, but it shows the plan works. If you're seen, just pretend to be a toy. I still think turning them into frogs is simpler. In the big museum, we can get an idea of how wonderful it was in the past. This first room is about the Stone Age. Ooh. A long time ago, the big people lived in caves. These are models of how the cave people must have looked. There's a button to press. Did the cave people have electric light bulbs? No. That's to show how the campfire would have looked when it was lit. Here's another button. <laughs> they move. Ooh. You see, King Thistle? The toddlers are being as good as gold. Good as gold. <laughs> it's actually going quite well. The toddlers haven't even made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear yet. Stone Age times. Close your eyes and imagine what it must have been like. <laughs> I have always wanted to know what it would be like to live in the Stone Age. <laughs> oh dear, I suppose it was never going to last. All they've left is her shoes. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent Mrs. Fotheringill? Stone, Stone Age! Age. <gasps> They've sent Mrs. Fotheringale back to the Stone Age. That was a very naughty thing to do. Bring Mrs. Fotheringale back right now. <sighs> OK. Oh! On second thoughts, you don't want to know what it was like to live in the Stone Age. Oh, my shoes! It's good to have them back. Right. Next room, Ancient Egypt. Ooh! Look. Here's a model showing how a pyramid was built. It's quite small. 
Were the ancient Egyptians the size of elves and fairies? No, the ancient Egyptians were big people. And the pyramids are huge. But they wouldn't be able to fit a full-sized pyramid into the museum. Big. That's right, Daisy. Think how big a real pyramid would be. Here we go again. Use your imagination. Big. Ah, no! Stop! Stop it! My turn. What's going on here? Big people are coming. What's in there? Everyone, pretend to be toys. And what are these little toys doing here? Hello. Uh, hello? Frog time. <laughs> Well done, Tarquin. Like they always say, when things are not going quite right, turn them into a frog. That doesn't even rhyme. And turning people into frogs is not a good way to do things. Why not? He'll turn back to a person in a moment and he won't remember a thing. we better get out of here before he turns back again. Yes, on with the tour. Oh, my goodness, that was all a bit of an adventure. What we need now is something a little less dangerous. Next room, the Vikings. Less dangerous? Vikings? People think the Vikings just ran around shouting. But really, they were gentle people who farmed and played music. If only there were Vikings around today, I'd love to know what they'd say to us. <laughs> she never learns. Abracadabra! <laughs> Interesting fact about Vikings, all they ate was Spam. I don't think that is correct. It's true! Vikings ate Spam. It was on the telly. Uh, Nanny, what happens when the frogs turn back into Vikings? They'll be very confused and maybe a tiny bit annoyed. Right, let's make sure we're not around when that happens. Wow, look at all those frogs. And what's this? Sorry about this, but I'm going to have to turn you all into frogs. Just for a bit. Eh? Frog time! <laughs> Nanny, why are there still bangs going on in the other rooms? Well, it was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back too. Right. I think this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out. Children, back on the bus. Next stop, the Little Kingdom. Last stop. Everybody off. Oh. Well, all in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the museum wasn't destroyed. <laughs> Good girl. You see? All you have to do is trust the little darlings and they will repay your trust. She's really in a world of her own. She never learns. And next time, I thought we could visit a... Next time? Yes, we'll visit a big castle. You know, I've always wanted to live in the times of knights in armour. Abracadabra! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Let's bring her back. Abracadabra. On second thoughts, I never want to live in the time of knights in armour. I think the safest, nicest time is right here and now. <laughs> Today, I, Redbeard the Elf Pirate, set sail in my pirate airship. Where are you going? To the Lost City. What's that? An ancient place of great beauty. 
Pyramids, waterfalls, fountains, great statues of ancient gods, and treasure. Ooh! Where is it? In the jungle. Far, far from here. A long and dangerous journey. All right, off you go then. Try and be strong, my sweetheart. I will return. Ugh. Take your time. You don't want to rush the lost city. Anchors away! Good luck, Redbeard! Thank you! But a pirate doesn't need luck. I laugh in the face of danger. Farewell! Bye! Oh! Poor Gaston. He's missing Redbeard already. <laughs> this is the life. I love adventures. Aha! I think I see the jungle! Lost City, here I come! Oh! What is it, Gaston? He's worried about Redbeard. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. Redbeard would call us if he got into trouble. <coughs> Hello? I found it, Nanny Plum! The Lost City! Oh, jolly good. Only thing is, I've hit a bit of bad luck and I'm in terrible danger. I thought you laughed in the face of danger. I do, normally, but I'm trapped. The ropes from my airship are tangled up in the jungle. We'll come to your rescue, Redbeard. Yes. Don't feel you must. I can survive here. I'll eat the odd leaf and drink dewdrops to survive. Oh. I could probably last a couple of weeks that way. Unless a snake gets me first, of course. We won't let that happen. The elves are coming. <coughs> and the fairies. OK, we'll do a rescue mission. Emergency! Emergency! Let's get this plane loaded for a jungle rescue. Right ho! Jungle tent! Jungle tent! Jungle first aid kit! Jungle first aid kit! Jungle clothes! Jungle clothes! And I've brought the jungle picnic! Cheese sandwiches and lemonade for everyone! Nanny Plum, this is a rescue mission, not a picnic! So, you still need sandwiches? You'll need these! What are they? Parachutes! Parachutes? Cool! Yes! I can't land the elf plane in the jungle, so you'll be parachuting in. How will we find Redbeard in the jungle? Gaston will sniff him out. <laughs> Gaston can smell anyone from miles away. Redbeard does have a strong smell. Yes, a bit like cheesy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Time to go. Wind the engine. Righty ho Elf plane! Ready for takeoff! Here we go! Are we nearly there yet? Oh, we've only just got going. The jungle is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh! Gaston can smell Redbeard. Already? We can't be at the jungle yet. Gaston's nose is never wrong. Then it is time to jump. Everybody ready? Ready! Go, go, go! Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Gaston was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. 
This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. Four ninety nine. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes! I can see you! What? I'm inside! Look through the doors! Hello! I thought you said you'd gone to the jungle. It is a jungle in here. Come and see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, I suppose we'd better rescue him anyway. Carefully now. We must not be spotted by the big people. Why won't the magic door open? It's not a magic door. You just stand in front of it and it opens. But we're too small for the door to notice us. Time for a bit of magic. Now that's what I call a magic door. Ha-ha! Am I pleased to see you, me hearties? Don't you, me hearty me? Do you realise how much of our time you've wasted? Uh... We thought you were trapped in the jungle, not sitting in a tomato plant in a shop. But this is where the lost city is. Look! Lost city? It's a load of garden ornaments. Come, come, Nanny Plum. You have to use your imagination. It's a lost city of pyramids, waterfalls and treasure. It's a load of plastic rubbish. Well, haven't you had an adventure coming to find me? Yes, it's been fun. And that's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. <laughs> Now, all you have to do is untangle me and we can get away from this dangerous jungle. Oh, this isn't a jungle and there is no danger. Whoa! Hang on! Hold tight! Hello, I'm a customer and I would like to buy this plant. Find everything you're looking for today? Yes, thank you. Do the toys come free with the plant? Uh, oh, I suppose so. One pot plant with toys. And one magic goblin. I am not magic. One talking magic goblin. Oh, no barcodes. I put it through as compost. Oh, thank you. Magic goblin? Compost? How dare she? We've got to get free. Come on, everyone into the airship. That's it. Let's go. Anchors away. Look. Uh, hello, Mrs. Customer. Hello. Don't tell anyone you've been seeing elves and fairies. No. Oh. Up, up oh. and away. Ha <laughs> ha Wise old elf. Looks like I'm rescuing you from the jungle. From the garden centre, you mean? Ah, my sweet sugar plum. I brought you a present from my adventures. A tomato? Is it a tomato? Or is it a mysterious red berry from the darkest depths of the lost city? Use your imagination. It's a tomato. Set sail for the little kingdom. Home we go. <laughs> <laughs> Catch, Barnaby. To you, Strawberry. To you, Holly. Whoa! What was that? I don't know. It was coming from the old dwarf mine. But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. Oh, 
I can hear voices. Whoa! That was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Like that! Oh, no! The dwarves have woken up! Woken up? Yes. Deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes. Dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning, all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. Elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed. Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Good work, chaps. Dig, Keep it going. Dig, dig. Hello. Dig, I want dig, to speak dig, to the boss. Dig, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, dig, lads, dig, just pop down a second, OK? Right, you were saying... I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. Now, look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But... We can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. 
Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. Silence, please. Everyone, now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Oh. Sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up. And they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! Whoa! Whoa! with all the dwarves around. I know. I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys. Tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now, dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. <sighs> me too, boss. <sighs> <sighs> I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. Now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes. They'll dig and dig and dig and dig and... Hello, everybody. May I present my new boat, Bunty 2. Bunty 2? Yes. Do you remember my old boat, Bunty? Bunty was a lovely boat. Yes, Bunty was a lovely boat. Until she met Big Bad Barry. You all know what happened then. Barry ate Bunty. Yes, Barry has eaten every boat I've ever made. 
But now I've built Bunty 2, my best boat ever. Six bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a sun lounge, the ideal boat for a cruise to a tropical paradise. A cruise to a tropical paradise? How wonderful! And Bunty 2 doesn't run on clockwork. She runs on batteries. So she's super fast. to stop Big Bad Barry eating this boat. Aha! I have a brilliant plan. What's the plan? Bunty 2 is never going in the water. Never going in the water? Yes. Barry is not going to eat Bunty 2. This is ridiculous. Why did you build a boat that you're not going to put in the water? Just for something to do. So we're not sailing to the tropical paradise? Nope. Oh, Dad! I thought we were all going on holiday. I've got a good idea. As your king, I command you to put Bunty 2 in the water and sail us to the tropical paradise. But what about Big Bad Barry? Don't worry. If Barry eats Bunty 2, I'll take full responsibility. What does that mean? You can blame it on me. The king is so wise. But, but... Good. That's sorted, then. We're going on holiday. OK, but if we're going to do it, I'm in charge. And that means... Oh, this is an elf holiday, so no magic. <coughs> Yay! A holiday! Next stop, the ocean! Yes, but first we have to get past Barry. You worry too much, Mr Elf. Maybe Barry won't turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Yum. Ah! What do we do? What do we do? There's just one chance. Bunty 2 is super fast. It's working, Mr. Elf. We're faster than Barry. We've left Barry really far behind. Good. He's given up. Hooray! Right, everybody. Let's sail to the tropics and swim among the corals. We're going on holiday, we're going on holiday. We're going on holiday to a tropical paradise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr Elf, it's lovely to see you so relaxed. Yes, with Barry far away, I'm actually enjoying this holiday. We're here, in the tropical ocean. Let's go diving. Cool. <laughs> Mrs Elf, are you coming diving? Um, no thanks. I need to catch up on some important reading. Right all. See you later. Chapter one. I was just a young servant girl, and Squire Trevelyan, with his dark, broody looks and mane of black hair, was being very grumpy. I didn't like him at all. This is the coral reef. Amazing! Yes, it's all so pretty. Do you think we'll bump into anyone else down here? In the middle of a vast ocean? We're not going to bump into anyone. Ah, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, I am here, and I'm not pleased to be bumped into. Not pleased at all. It's Captain Squid, the pirate. Yes, it is I, Captain Squid, and I'm here burying the treasure. Burying your treasure? At the bottom of the ocean? The thing is, every place I bury my treasure, it gets found. So I thought, if I bury it at the bottom of the ocean, where no people ever visit, maybe, just maybe, my treasure might stay hidden. It's not too much to ask, is it? Well, we're very sorry to disturb you. We'll be on our way. Yes, be off with you. Get your own ocean to swim in. Uh, hang on a moment. There is, uh, something you could help me with. What's that? It's a bit embarrassing, but, uh, I haven't got a boat to sail home in. Can I have a lift? What happened to your boat? It got eaten by a big fish. Barry! Barry's here! The fish that ate my boat had big eyes. That's Barry. And a big mouth. That's Barry! And eight legs. That's not Barry. A fish with eight legs? Yes. 
It's a giant octopus, and it's swimming towards your boat. Ah! I have to warn Mrs Elf! And then Squire Trevelyan said, Here is the great secret I must tell you. The person I truly love is... Yes, this had better be important. Yes, uh, don't panic, but there is something swimming towards you. Oh, yes, what sort of a something? Uh, a sort of hungry giant octopus with eight legs something. Oh, yes, I see it. What should I do? Would you mind telling it not to eat my boat? Now, listen here, Mr Octopus. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface! Naughty octopus! Stop eating! Stop at once, I say! <laughs> ah, my boat! Eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a giant octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry. I said I'd take responsibility, and I will. And? That's it. I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes. So I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. It's not meant to be pretty. It's a raft. I know what a raft is. Where's the bathroom? Is it downstairs? Ah, there isn't a downstairs. Don't be too harsh on Nanny. She doesn't know as much about rafts as us sailors. By the way, where's the kitchen? Is that downstairs too? Yes, it's probably next to the sitting room. This is a raft. There aren't sitting rooms and kitchens and bathrooms. It's not very luxurious then, is it? No, it's not. But it will get us home. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all. And I married him. The end. My goodness! That was a surprise ending. Land ahoy! We're home! Yes, but that means we're near to Big Bad Barry. Stop worrying, Mr Elf. Barry might not turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Oh, he's been waiting for us all this time. How sweet. He's going to eat Bunty 3. Yum, yum. Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happens, I will take full responsibility. That makes everything all right, then. My boat is gone. Gone into Barry's tummy. Curse you, Big Bad Barry. You'll never eat another boat of mine. Never. Never. Because I'm not going to build a boat ever again. I think you've upset Barry, Mr Elf. Look at his sad little face. <laughs> he is crying. I've never seen a fish cry. You shouldn't be so unkind to Barry. What? Yes, Barry doesn't mean any harm. Doesn't mean any harm? Mr Elf, as your king, I command you to build another boat for Barry. Aye? What sort of boat would you like, Barry? A sailing boat? Yum, yum. A sailing boat for Barry, please, Mr Elf. King Thistle is so wise. Yes, we are very lucky. Aha! Nothing quite like sailing the high seas, eh, Nanny Plum? No, there's nothing quite as boring. Ha <laughs> ha, my little cherry blossom. I love it that you say what you mean. I don't like sailing in boats. They sink. Not my boat. It's unsinkable. 
Oops. What was that noise? I think we hit a rock. Ah! The boat is sinking! Never fear, Nanny Plum. I know just the people to call. Who's he calling? He's calling Elf Rescue. Elf Rescue? Elf Rescue? Hello! Redbeard here. My boat is sinking. I see you, Redbeard. Hang on. Elf Rescue are go. Calling all units to the lake. Redbeard's boat is sinking. Elf Rocket, A-OK. -okay. Elf Plane, A-OK. -okay. Elf Helicopter, A-OK. -okay. Elf Submarine, A-OK. -okay. Elf Rescue Argo. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Mr. Elf, lower the claw. Lowering claw. <laughs> Hold on, I'm lifting you up. Hooray! Gosh, that was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps. My favourite. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum. It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue. <laughs> Thank you, Elf Rescue. Not at all. Whenever you need us, just call. Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. Elf Rescue? Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf Rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue. I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. <sighs> Elf Rescue? Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. A-OK! -okay. 
Lower the mole. Lowering mole. Launch mole. Launching mole. <laughs> Good. The mole can dig up the brambles. Don't worry, Mrs. Cow. We'll have you out of there in no time. Dum, la -di dum Ah! Elf Rescue! Help! Help me, Elf Rescue! Nanny Palum, I told you, Elf Rescue is for emergencies. This is an emergency. I'm stuck. Stuck with what? A tricky jigsaw? No! In the mud! Oh, Mr. Elf, you take over the cow rescue. I'll deal with Nanny Plum. Right all. I can't believe I got stuck in mud. What a day! Never mind. Elf Rescue will be here in a minute, and then it'll be tea and biscuits on the ride home. So, you are stuck. Of course I'm stuck. What did you think? Can't you use magic to get yourself out? No, my wand's over there. I see. Where are Elf Rescue? Are there any biscuits left? We don't need a rocket to pull you out of a puddle, Nanny Plum. It's not a puddle. It's very deep mud. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just pull you out. Oh, it's very deep mud. Told you. No problem. I'll call Elf Rescue. Calling Elf Rescue. We're a bit busy right now. Please call back later. Are they coming? No. So what do we do now? Uh, shout for help. Help! 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 Listen, someone's shouting for help. Help! 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 They need rescuing. We can rescue them. We can be Children Rescue. Hooray! Children Rescue are go. Children Rescue! Thank goodness you're here. Are you stuck? Yes! Launch Gaston! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Keep still! OK. Lift Gaston! Lift! What about me? Oh, no! We won't get to the wise old elf in time. I know. I can magic him out of the mud. Oh, yes. Good idea, Holly. No, no, no! No magic. I want to be rescued properly. That is properly. Magic is cheating. Please let me use magic or we won't be able to get you out. No magic. Please! No, 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 no. Magic, please. <laughs> ah! Hooray! Well done, Children Rescue. Hello. You rang us, wise old elf. What seems to be the trouble? Ah, uh, nothing. Panic over. Wise old elf, you should know better than to call out Elf Rescue for no reason. But... But it wasn't for no reason. Children Rescue had to rescue us from the mud. Oh, in that case, I think everyone deserves a lift home. Oh, goody. Biscuits. Oh, this is the way to travel. Got any more of those ginger snaps? Yes, biscuits are go. Go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right down. Oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. 
and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> and these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! <laughs> oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber. Fetch! <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <laughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybird. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. But looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me! Baby ladybirds! Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. 
How adorable! Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds! Baby birds! Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds! Ruff, 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 ruff! Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof, thank you, darling. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. <laughs> I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. <laughs> rock a -bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. <coughs> oh! oh. What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh. 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 <laughs> well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. <laughs> How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh! <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> Catch, Holly. <laughs> Catch, Ben. <laughs> Let's play football. OK. I'll magic the ball a bit bigger. Uh, hang on. I'm still holding it. Don't worry, Ben. I'll be very careful. Whoa! Oops! Holly! Now I'm big. Sorry, Ben. It was an accident. We can't play together like this. OK. I'll make myself big too. Whoa! <laughs> Great! Now 
Wow, we're both big. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> <gasps> big people are coming. Shall we hide? I don't think we can. We're too big. What shall we do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry. You look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it a block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh. Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie, catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin. <laughs> to you, Ben. I threw it too far. Don't worry, I've got it. Ooh! Wow! You can run really fast and jump really high. That's because I'm an elf. Ben. I mean, that's because I keep fit. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick, then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Hikers, pikers. Wow! Holly, you'll give away that we're not normal big people. Oh, sorry. That's an amazing trick. How is it done? <laughs> is it a trick ball? Uh, it's a secret. A magician never gives away their secrets. Ooh! Lucy, home time. That's my dad. We have to go now. It was nice to meet you, Ben and Holly. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Ben, should I shrink us back to normal size? No, I like being big. I never want to be small again. <laughs> Me too. Dum dee dum dee doo. Diddly diddly doo. Hi, Strawberry. Ah, a big person. Come back, Strawberry. It's only us. Strawberry. <laughs> Giants are coming. Giants are coming. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, Dad. I just saw two huge big people coming this way. Ah, big people with their big feet. And you never know where they're going to step with those big feet. Hello, everyone. It's only us. Oh, Ben and Holly. But you're big. Holly magicked us big. And we're going to stay big. That's very nice. But would you mind lifting your foot up? Oh, I stepped on you. Sorry, Mr Mayor. That's quite all right, Princess Holly, but if you're going to stay big, you'll need to watch those feet of yours. Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny. Bye, everyone. Bye. Home time! And that's my mum. See you tomorrow. Feet, feet, feet. Oops, that was close. Sorry. Bye. 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 Sound the alarm! <laughs> big people! Big people! Lock your doors! It's okay, Mum. 
It's me! Oh, Ben! How did you get so big? Holly magicked me bigger. Well, you can't come inside like that. Can Holly make you small again? I don't want her to. I've decided to stay big forever. Oh, well, it's your life, I suppose. Do you want some dinner? Yes, please. You've got a lovely large pie for dinner today. There you go. Haven't you got anything bigger? What are you talking about? That's a huge pie. Uh, I think my tummy is a bit bigger than it was. Well, your tummy might have to go without. I'm used to feeding Ben the elf, not Ben the giant. Oh, no, no, no. No. Hello, I'm home. Ah, a giant! A giant! No, Daddy, it's me. My goodness, Holly! What happened to you? I magicked myself big, and I want to stay big forever. Ah! Watch where you put those big feet. Holly, you almost stepped on Nanny. Oops, sorry, Nanny. Holly, are you really sure you want to stay big forever? Yes. It's almost bedtime. How are you going to fit in your little bed? I know, Mummy. I'll sleep outside. OK, but you'll need to keep warm. How about I magic you up a giant sleeping bag? Yes, please, Nanny. Oh, lovely. I'll sleep out here under the stars. Good night, Holly. Good night. Ah, oh, this is cosy. I hope Ben has found somewhere nice to sleep as well. Calling all elves! Stop making toys! We need a giant sleeping bag! Right Who is this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! A giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> ah! Maybe don't toot your horn when you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I'm here. The spell must have worn off. And now I'm little again. Oh, never mind, Holly. Big is overrated, in my opinion. I'm going to see if Ben has shrunk too. Ben, where are you? I'm here. The spell wore off in the night. Oh. Now we're little again. Well, at least you'll be able to have breakfast. Yes, breakfast. Thanks, Mum. Mmm. I didn't realise how hungry I was. I do like being small. Me too. <laughs> Yes, we are. We decided we like being little after all. Actually, I think I like you being little too. You're just the right size for an elf and a fairy. And you're just the right size for a big person. <laughs> <laughs> Here, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. Uh, Holly and Ben. Please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say, she's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Over. Ooh. Shake hands. 
Wow! That's amazing! I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <coughs> <coughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <coughs> drop! <coughs> drop! Drop! <coughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <coughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Uh, I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the ant. <laughs> Hello, Archie. Hello, doll. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no. Gaston, spit Timmy out. Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? Whoa! <gasps> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly. Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time. Good show. Well done, Archie. Nice posture, Stanley. <laughs> She's funny. Chin up, Bobby. That's better. Let's face the future like we mean it. Aha! A new pet. Wonderful. Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well. <laughs> Now, Mr. Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel! Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! OK, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly-dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. 
round the poles <laughs> and jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh! Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha! <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now, who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh! <laughs> She can lift really heavy things. Wow. wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh! Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Fufu can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present! Gaston, fetch my boot! Oh, no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots. Drop! Hey. Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it. Gaston is now trained. Thank you, Miss Jolly. My pleasure. Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule. Show them who's boss. Yes, Miss Jolly. Bye. Toodle pip. Bye, Bye Miss Jolly. It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm just this once. There we go. <laughs> um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes, he can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness, are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah! He's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. <laughs> if you're not, I'm the best pirate. I am so! Listen. I'm the best pirate! Ask any pirate who's the best pirate. It's me. Hi, Redbeard! Hello, Ben and Holly. And hello, me rambling rose. Meet an old shipmate of mine, Captain Squid. At your service. We were just talking about who's the best pirate. What makes the best pirate? It's the pirate who's cleverest at hiding their treasure. My treasure's hidden the cleverest. This is me treasure map, but only I can read and understand it. <laughs> A child could read it. Is it buried next to the elf tree? Uh, yes. My treasure map is better than that. Ooh, that does look difficult. 
The treasure's deep underwater, yet in plain sight. Guarded by a mermaid and a golden sea monster with scales shining bright. Ooh! Well, best be off. I've got some pirate stuff to get on with. Ha-ha! <laughs> Good to see you, Captain Squid. And you too, Captain Redbeard. Oh, look! Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. Give the map to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against pirate's honour. What's pirate's honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about pirate's honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely and that. Can we come too? Well, I can always use more crew. Yay! Cast off and away we go! <laughs> Men, Polly, into the crow's nest and keep a sharp lookout. We're going on a treasure hunt. Yo-ho-ho! Ho. Aha! Are we having fun? Aye, aye, Captain. Good! Having fun is what being an elf pirate is all about. And we're elf pirates! <laughs> The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha. Land ahoy! That's the end of the water. The next bit's on land. You mean we have to get out and walk? Fear not, me pretty nightingale. Your ship has wheels. It can go on the land. Well, most treasure you'll find is on the land. There's not that much in the sea but water. Look, we're in the big children's playground. Now we look out for the giant's palace. There it be! But that's Lucy's school. Who's Lucy? Lucy's our friend. She's a big girl. Are you sure the treasure would be at a children's school? This here map says the treasure's inside. How can we get in? The door shut and the handle's miles up. And you elves won't want to use magic. That's right. Us elves don't normally like magic. But when there's treasure involved... Rightio! Abracadabra! Ooh. Ooh! I thought you were just going to make the door open. But a flying boat is much better. It's quiet. No sign of any big people. But all the big children will be here soon. Let's get a move on. The treasure is found by the sign of the acorn. Acorn class. That's Lucy's class. This is ridiculous. How can pirate treasure be in a children's classroom? What does the map say now? Map? I don't need no map. When treasure's this close, I can smell it. We pirates have a nose for treasure. Come on! Now, we're all going to walk the plank. Starting with me. Whee! 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 This is silly. How can the treasure be here? It's supposed to be deep underwater, for one thing. There be the water! But that's a fish tank! Remember what Captain Squid said? The treasure is guarded by a mermaid. That's a little statue! And a golden sea monster! That's just a goldfish! 
And there be Captain Squid's treasure, hidden in plain sight. It's a plastic toy. All fish tanks have that sort of thing. Huh. It's not real treasure. There is only one way to find out. We'll have to dive for it. Who's going diving? Good luck, me plucky little pumpkin. Ugh. What am I doing? Deep sea diving in a goldfish bowl. Look for the treasure chest. Oh, it's just a plastic toy. I don't even think it opens. Ooh. It's real treasure. <laughs> Captain Squid said I'd never find his treasure. I'd like to see his face now. Redbeard, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Captain Squid. When I set sail, I found my treasure map was missing. Was it really? So I came back. I was worried some rascal might try and steal my treasure. Yes, yes, that would be very bad if someone tried to steal your treasure. I've got the treasure, Mr Redbeard. Why, you double-crossing old sea dog. Uh, I can explain. Treachery with a smile on its face. It's all right, Captain Squid. I found your map on the ground. Redbeard was worried about your treasure, so we came to make sure it was safe. Yes, uh, that's right. Just check it over, like. Oh, well, that's, that's different. But you must admit it was a good hiding place, wasn't it? Aye, very good. A children's fish tank. Best hiding place ever. Oh, but now you all know where it is. I better hide it again. If you could all close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. Where have you hidden the treasure? Somewhere in the world. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh! <laughs> School starting! <laughs> All right, acorn class, yes. settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <laughs> oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <laughs> There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirates' honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirates' honour. Pirates honour! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little Kingdom, here we come. Ha -ha! I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. <laughs> It's Christmas Eve, and everything has gone a bit wrong. Queen Thistle wrapped in a Christmas present. Let me out! I'm the Queen! King Thistle trapped in a Christmas cracker. I'm the King! Get me out of here! And the wise old elf is stuck in a Christmas tree. Up for sale in a shop. How undignified. And there's big people everywhere. Wow! Look at all those big people. Shh! We must keep quiet. No problem. 
Pine elves are good at keeping quiet. And we are pine elves! Stay hidden. Nanny, lots of the grown-ups seem to be missing. King Thistle, Queen Thistle, all the Pine Elves. And the wise old elf. Yes, it's not good. <coughs> Hello? It's me, the wise old elf. Why are you whispering? Listen carefully. It's Christmas Eve, and tonight Father Christmas will be delivering presents to the children of the world. It's my job to track him. Every year, I follow Father Christmas's journey and make sure he is okay. But this time, I seem to be a bit, um, stuck. So, someone else is going to have to do the tracking. Someone responsible. Me! I'll do it! Me! Me! Okay, Danny Plum, but don't mess it up. Ah! Oh, big people! Walking this way! I'm really looking forward to a quiet family Christmas with no talk of fairies and elves. Okay, Dad. Ooh, I like this Christmas tree. Yes, Lucy. Let's get that one. And we'll need some Christmas crackers. Oof! Let me out of this Christmas cracker! Let me out! Oh, no! Where to now? So, where exactly is this top-secret Elf Command tracking centre? In the Great Elf Tree. Listen up, everyone. The wise old elf can't be here, so he's put me in charge. Right, Hall. What do these buttons do? Ah! Don't touch anything. It's all automatic. Oof. This screen shows the world, and this flashing dot shows where Father Christmas is. He's at the North Pole. That's right, Holly. He's just about to set off. Ho, ho, ho. Good. That's all the presents packed. Let me out. I'm the queen. Let me out. What was that tiny squeaky noise? Oh, well, time to go, I think. Ho, ho, ho. Away we go! Look, Father Christmas is moving. He has to deliver presents to all the children. All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Yes. I wonder what Lucy is doing now. Bear, don't the decorations look pretty? Let's put the Christmas crackers on. Whoa! I wonder what's inside. <laughs> it will look nice here. Time to switch on the lights. Ooh! What's that flashing light? <gasps> Is that you, wise old elf? Oh, hello, Lucy. And hello, Lucy's mum. Nice to see you both again. But, wise old elf, what are you doing in our Christmas tree? It's a bit of a long story. You see, pine elves live in pine trees. And then they... Pine elves? What are pine elves? We're pine elves! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Cool! We've got pine elves in our Christmas tree. That's lovely, but it's probably best if you all stay hidden. Lucy's dad gets a bit nervous around little people. Did someone say little people? Um, eh... Uh... I'm really looking forward to a normal family Christmas with just us three and no talk of little people. Of course, darling. Anyway, it's getting late. Time for your bed, Lucy. Father Christmas won't come unless you're sleeping. OK. <laughs> night, night, Lucy. Night, night. I wonder where Father Christmas is now. Father Christmas has delivered presents to just about every child in the world. Good. Once he's delivered the last one, we can all get some sleep. Look, Father Christmas is almost at Lucy's house. One last present to deliver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oof. Chair looks comfy. I'll just have a little sit down. 
I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. The dots have stopped moving. Father Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, to the elf helicopter. I only hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered. Look, Mummy, a present. We'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lucy! That's Dad. I don't think your dad could take all this. Everyone hide, quickly! Hide? Who has to hide? Um, um, Merry Christmas, darling. Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oh, oof! At last! I'm out of that cracker! What? What is that? It's King Thistle. He's our friend from the Little Kingdom, Dad. Ah! Magical weirdness! It's happening again! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Allow me the honour of reading you the cracker joke. What's at the North Pole and has two humps? Hmm. A lost camel. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. I wrote it myself. Uh, Lucy, you haven't opened your present. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, a tiny fairy castle. Hello, Lucy. Queen Thistle, what are you doing in there? Um, it's a bit complicated, but basically this isn't a toy. It's the real little castle shrunk down. Are you OK? I'll be fine once I'm my own size again. Um, are there any more of you, uh, fairies around here? What's that noise? Ah! Hello, Lucy's dad! Um, hello. Daddy! Mummy! Hello! Hello, everybody. Um, is that all of you now? Uh, there are the Pine Elves, too. Pine Elves? What are they? We're Pine Elves! They live in our Christmas tree. Pine Elves! Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, it looks like just about everyone from the Little Kingdom is here. Hello. Um, hello. We heard the Christmas party was around your place this year. We're gnomes, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems we have gnomes as well. Yes, aren't you the lucky ones? <gasps> ah! Hello, big people. Happy Christmas from Planet Bong. Aliens, elves, fairies, gnomes. All we need now is Father Christmas. <sighs> ho, ho, ho. Wow, Father Christmas in our house. Ho, ho, ho. What? But... Who? But how? What my husband's trying to say is, please join us for lunch. Hooray! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Big and little. Yay!